going on everybody? It's your boy Leo Rydell here from Geekly Goods to review Capone today. Now this is a unique take on an Al Capone story. So it focuses on Al Capone right after prison in 1931 and it shows his struggle at the end of his life with syphilis and dementia. And this is a very, very unique take on an Al Capone story. One that I have never seen before. So let's dive right in guys. Getting started, I look at this film and I definitely see indie film all over it. The shots are very independent, the feel, the look. It's got a very indie film feel to it. So in the beginning, I was looking forward to a lot of creativity, which there is in the movie. And I was looking forward to like an indie vibe. I was really looking forward to that. Josh Trank, great return. I mean, this is a good start to returning to movies because I really enjoyed Chronicle. We won't get too far into Fantastic Four because that's not really his fault. But I, I liked Chronicle. I like that he brings a lot of horror elements into his movies. So that's what he does here. And without spoiling too much, I gotta say, I did like the movie. Did I love it though? Not quite. Let's start with some of the positives. Tom Hardy, holy smokes. So a lot of people are gonna say, really just rolling around taking a dump? Like, no, he puts on the facade of being a gangster king. He puts on the, the, the face of Al Capone, the king, the guy, the mobster. And then you get the slow decline throughout the movie. And that's what I love about Hardy's performances. You kind of get little bits and pieces of that last year of Capone's life sprinkled in as we're watching it you know you get at the beginning we've got this kind of capone tip of the top and then towards the end you know we start to see a decline i think his the the gurgles the 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 dumps the everything the cigars the the very embodiment of this version of al capone was played extremely well and i gotta give it to tom hardy i really loved his performance as al capone and there are a lot of movies where I end up liking him, but maybe not the movie, Cough Cough Venom. <laughs> um, but I did really enjoy his performance here. I, I thought, I wish I would have got a little bit more, but I, I really, really liked him here. And I liked that Trank added all these like horror elements into his movie. So we're exploring Al Capone's dementia pretty much along with him. It's like we're on along the ride along for the ride with him uh with the dementia so it's cool to dive into these different scenes where we're seeing him sort of regret the crime that he did earlier in his life and we get some twists and turns that i really didn't see coming but the problem is and that's probably the problem with this review the story is a bit all over the place um i wish things kind of lined up a little more cohesively it was kind of like one thing would happen and then we would come back to, to real reality and then another thing would happen and we'd come back to reality and that was a little bit jarring for me. I kind of wish we really journeyed through the dementia without us knowing. Like, I, oh, I was about to drop a big spoiler, but I'm not going to do it. Like, I kind of wish we would have got to stay in the dementia frame for a little bit longer. I got to give it to Tom Hardy. This is, this is excellent. And Josh Trank really pulled that cast in together um ah gosh i can't remember the wife's name off the top of my head but she is absolutely fantastic in this role and she plays a lot of wife roles and i thought this was a really good one for her i thought that she really actually shined a little bit with tom hardy now didn't take it all away but she had a couple of moments herself really really enjoyed this movie i i think a lot of people aren't gonna like it because they're going to expect a different movie they're going to expect Al Capone the gangsta they're gonna expect like bla guns blazing kind of scenes and that's not really this movie this really explores the mental psyche or mental decline of Al Capone towards the end of his life so I gotta say if I'm giving it any kind of rating I'm going seven out of ten like I really enjoy Tom Hardy I really love the shot selection I liked Trank's direction. I liked the added horror elements, although some of them were a little bit cheesy and over the top. I did enjoy them. What I didn't like is how the how the flow of this movie felt so sloppy. I mean, it just kind of felt like scenes were just thrown on top of each other. And maybe that is unfort the unfortunate truth of directing, editing, and writing the movie, which Josh Trank did all three. 
maybe that's kind of starting to expose itself a little bit here because I thought the flow of the movie and just some of the writing could have been a little stronger. So I think Josh Trank with a full team, like somebody else writing for him, somebody else editing for him, I think he is a visionary. And I think that he can, like some of his next movies are going to be absolutely excellent. I don't think this is a big hitter. I do think that it is a great return for Josh Trank. I think this will be good for his career. I think that it really shows his directing skills very well. But maybe on the next film, we could get a different writer, a different editor, just some, some different hands on the board to help him out because I think that this film is good, but it could have been great with a little bit more. So, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments about Capone. And if you're watching this because of the Birds of Prey contest, that's right. It's still on, everybody. Till Friday, you have the chance to get a digital code of Birds of Prey. And all you got to do is comment down below or follow and retweet us on Twitter or email us at itsgeeklygood at gmail.com. And that will enter you into our contest. And guess what? Every single one is an entry. Yes. So if you like and re or if you follow and retweet us on Twitter, if you comment on this video, and if you email us, that means you will have three entries into the contest. So yes, do all three guys because you will have a bigger chance to win. So thank you for joining us for my Capone review, guys, and we will see you next time on Geekly Goods.